one of the great things about spraying Roundup on Roundup Ready crops is it's not going to hurt the crop, right Brian? <laughs> the problem is it does hurt the crop in some cases. Now nothing tremendously severe. It's, it's not the leaf seen... burn and, and turning the crop brown like we see with some other conventional herbicides. What we're talking about here is a slowdown in growth. Well, yeah, you'll see, yeah, but it's not just a slowdown. You can see yellowing, you can see browning. Have you seen yellow flash on your farm before? We certainly have in our operation when we go to higher rates, and now that we're having Roundup resistant weeds, everybody's bumping the rate, and then if you get any overlap out there, you come around the end rows, anything, we just see yellow flash, especially if your crop is already under some stress. So yeah, Roundup isn't perfectly safe, because keep in mind, a Roundup ready soybean plant or a pretty corn plant, it doesn't metabolize that Roundup, it compartmentalizes it, it takes it and shoves it down into the root system. And it takes some time, it takes some energy to do that. So again, we're not trying to scare you here, we're not talking 5, 10 bushel yield losses. No, and we're but, certainly not trying to bash Roundup. Roundup's been a fantastic product. Right. In fact, in our opinion, it's the best herbicide ever invented. It's been great for farmers. The challenge is, is when we spray it on our crops, they can only tolerate so much Roundup at any one time. And once we're pushing those rates, which we are now, because we've got some tolerant weeds, even resistant weeds, we're really putting everything we can in that plant. And so if there is a way to safen the Roundup for the plants, it could be a good thing for crop production. Okay, so the first way you can safen it for plants is have a healthier plant. Raise the best crop you can, have good fertility, have disease control, insect control, great weed control otherwise besides just spraying the Roundup. If you do all those things, now you've got a much healthier plant. That's a good start. In addition to that, we always talk about throwing ammonium sulfate along with the Roundup. And a lot of people think, well, it's just to safen that water, you know, get rid of the hard water ions. It's not just that, don't forget, ammonium sulfate is a fertilizer and we want to help that plant recover. Well, if you give the plant a little more plant food, what do you think? Of course it's going to recover a little bit quicker. So using ammonium sulfate is another good step. And the other thing which we've been doing now for a number of years on our farm is using something that's actually now a patented safener for Roundup. It's a product called Mega Grow. Now I realize Mega Grow, it sounds kind of weird just to hear that name. Uh, but, but it really is a product that works. What we're talking about here is plant growth hormones. And we can actually influence the hormone levels inside the plant. Uh, so instead of slowing them down and putting the stress hormones on, now we can keep those growth hormones going in the plant. What we're seeing on our farm is we're not seeing that yellow flash Brian had talked about when we're using the high rates or even where we may overlap just a little bit on some point rows or something like that. What we're seeing is those plants keep on growing right through that Roundup application and over the next few days. The good side of that is the best weed killer that we've got out in our fields is crop canopy. And when we slow down plant growth, if our crop wasn't completely canopied, now we've got to wait a couple of weeks until that plant really gets growing again. And in the meantime, some new weeds can start to germinate. If we can just keep our plants growing right through that application with a product like Mega Grow, that's a fantastic way to go. Mega Grow is actually a patented safener for Roundup. And what it does in the plant, in effect, what ends up happening is when you put the Mega Grow together with the Roundup, you're going to see more of the good reactions occurring and less of the bad reactions occurring. Inside every plant, as soon as you spray Roundup, it does take a little bit of energy. You do see something actually happening scientifically in that plant when you monitor that plant. We just want to lessen the effects. And sure, even if the impact only lasts for a day or two or three days, whatever, the more we can keep that plant healthy and growing, chances are the better yield we're going to get. We just want you trying some stuff in your operation. We've tried it already on our own farm and that's the reason why we're using it, but we're not sitting here telling you, oh, you absolutely have to use this. Just try some. Try some new technologies and I'm sure there are gonna be more new technologies coming along, but when we start talking about plant growth hormones, it's not this scary, crazy, wild thing. There are a lot of plant growth hormones now that have been proven to work very well in agriculture in the right situation. Well, safening Roundup for Roundup Ready Crops is a big deal, but we still want Roundup to be effective controlling our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 